My wind is blowing absolutely straight to her. I don't think she's seen me yet though. So right now I have this doe right in front of me. She kind of came out of nowhere. I literally just started my opening interview and uh, did not expect to see a deer there yet. Basically behind me is like, I'm, I'm, I'm not that well hidden. I'm definitely a little bit hidden, but I'm on this hedgerow. And on either side of me is, uh, this is like a, like a hay field right in front of me. And then behind me is like a brushy thick field. We'll see how good this camo works, this new first light specter, because I'm probably skyline to her right now, sitting in the saddle. And I'm not really tucked behind the tree either. I wish I had the GoPro rolling, if you could see me. I have the camera right in front of my face. So if she's looking at me, my face is at least covered up. And I do have some huts up, so my wind is directly blowing straight to her right now. Perfectly to her. If I move a muscle, she's got me. I mean, I guess she already does have me, but I don't know if she knows what I am. Alright guys, it is November 19th. It's a Friday morning here in New Jersey. Set up right now on a piece of public ground. Um, I've walked into it this morning. I've never laid eyes on this portion of the property before, so. Um, I just had a doe walk up this stripped hay field right here in front of me, unexpectedly. So, you know, if I'm lucky, maybe she was in heat and some bucks will follow, but Anyways, for the most part, she's heading out towards the river. I think she's going to bed on, on parts. There's a couple parts in the river I think they bed on. So I'm going to keep an eye on her and see where she goes. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see a buck follow her. This spot I'm in is not perfect. It's a really good spot. I just don't have a ton of cover. So mm -hmm. I have to be super careful on my movements and stuff like that. Um, obviously, as soon as she came, the wind picked up and was blowing hard right to her. So that sucked. But... Um, anyways, it's about 7 o'clock, the sun's poking up, and I want to settle in here and see what we see, so stick with it, should be, should be a good morning. Alright guys, so it's around 8 o'clock now. Finally this wind is picking up. I'm gonna tickle these babies together. See if we can ruffle something up. off those finally the sun's starting to peek out <clears throat> this spot I'm sitting in right now makes me feel like I'm in Iowa just from the way that the terrain looks but anyways we're gonna keep sitting here hopefully we see some more deer that uh, doe I saw first thing this morning actually I don't know if we posted this video or not but last time we hunted in here we accessed through the river and we were probably another mile deeper from where I'm at right now and on this oxbow in the river we had a nice buck and a doe. We went past when it was dark out going in in the morning. And uh, I watched this doe this morning walk right across these fields right out to that same oxbow. So she bedded down, I lost sight of her, but uh, I'm hoping that a buck is gonna come out and do that if they're not already out there, but we'll see. Stick with us. All right guys, so it's, uh, it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, climb down. 
getting pretty windy as you can tell. Um, I'm going to climb down, head back to the house and uh, get something to eat, do some homework. And uh, if I can, I'm going to come back out this afternoon. So it's like, it seems like good rut weather, but I don't know. Like I was saying, today's the 19th. So uh, just that dough this morning and that's it. So, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up and get out of here. I tried grunting and rattling a couple more times and I haven't had anything, so. But, all right. We'll see you guys later this afternoon if I can get out. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, welcome back. It's Friday, November 19th. It's in the afternoon now, it's about one o'clock. Maybe a little after one and uh, I'm totally in a new spot. I searched around for an hour on Onyx on my laptop and I'm was trying to pinpoint, I was using that new, uh, the acorns feature, and I had it set to all white oak trees. And I found a piece of uh, public land that's got a bunch of white oaks on it. I've never been in here before. Um, it's kind of a big hill and it goes up, levels off on top. And then there's a big valley and another hill. So I'm trying to get on one of those, uh, one of the, tops of the ridges either one I'm not exactly sure I'm supposed to have a northwest wind it kind of seems like it's swirling a little bit down by the road it was perfect but up here now it's starting to seem weird so I don't know but uh there's a ton of white oaks and then I just stopped to take a five second break right there you can see uh, a rub and going looking throughout all these little saplings and stuff all over the place here um there's quite a bit of other rubs and stuff, old ones, all on these little saplings all around. So I got probably another three, 400 yards up to go and uh, I'm gonna pick a tree. So I forgot my jacket, so it might be cold. So it is what it is, it's super windy, but it's good rut activity or good, it's good rut weather. So we're gonna keep heading on up. I'll try to film as much as I can. It's just really hard by myself carrying all this stuff. So let's keep on moving. All right, I think my camera just about fell off the tree for a second. That would have been bad. But anyways, we're back in a new spot as I was explaining on my way in. This spot is a big hilltop. It dips way down, comes right back up, very steep. And there's these long draws. I'm set on, there's a big one to my right here, comes down comes up steep, then it levels off, goes down again, and then it goes down the hill. It's all oaks in here, and uh, there's quite a bit of white oaks. There's some, a lot of deer rubs and stuff around me. There's a bunch of rubs, so it's super windy right now. And uh, this tree is swaying, if you guys can't tell. sweat pretty bad on my way in. I probably gained, uh, I don't know, 500 foot of elevation from where I'm at. And maybe not quite. Maybe 350, 400, but hopefully we see some deer tonight. I do have a good wind. It's blowing straight down the ridge as I walked in here. The cool thing about where I'm at right now is there's basically three fingers that run towards me and they all kind of join right here. And that's where like, I'm seeing all these rubs and stuff. So we'll see. We will see. Hopefully a cruising buck comes through before dark. So stick with us.
Alright guys, so uh, we've been sitting here for probably an hour now, hour and a half. The wind has been howling, and it is pretty dang cold, but uh, <clears throat> I've rattled a couple times, grunted a few times. Still nothing. Um, I'm starting to think I've been glassing this hillside up on the hill, and there's a lot of thick brush on top of that oak flat on this, this hill above me. I'm wondering if you could hunt on either side, if there's going to be deer bedded on top or what the deal is, or maybe they hang out in there, I don't know. It looks like there might be some, a couple black walnuts up there. I'm not exactly sure, but I do see some more white oaks, so we'll see. I'm hoping to uh, at least get a little bit of intel on these deer and what the movement is, so we're going to sit till dark and uh, maybe shoot a big one. Maybe we'll see a deer. Who knows? It's been a tough season. It's been a good season, but a tough season. I think Will told me last night, I think I've sat 28 times, and you guys are only seeing a fifth of the videos that we're actually filming, so. It's just been tough. It's been super tough. I just have not seen raw activity while hunting. When I'm not hunting, I see tons of it. Driving around, doing whatever, working. As soon as I get in the stand, I don't see a deer. So, one of these days, one of these times, one of these minutes, one of these seconds, I will see a nice deer. Until then, we're just going to keep taking you along. <laughs>